In this video, we'll talk about Iran's Homa drone together. We'll see why it was made and what it really does. We'll cover its design, features, and the missions it can handle. Stay till the end to understand how this new drone changes things. Homa's story began with reverse engineering an American shadow drone. Iranian engineers studied the captured unit and learned its structure. That knowledge became the base for a homegrown, improved design. Soon, Iran built its own version with unique upgrades and ideas. The first official unveiling happened around early 2015 inside Iran. After testing prototypes, improved and operational versions followed. The name Homa came from a mythical bird, symbolizing national pride. It was built mainly to strengthen surveillance and battlefield awareness. One of HOMA's biggest features is its hybrid flight capability. It can take off vertically and then switch to normal forward flight. That means it doesn't need a runway or prepared surface to fly. That gives soldiers more flexibility in rough or limited terrains. Newer malls use four electric rotors for vertical takeoff and landing. A main piston engine provides thrust during long forward cruising. This combination gives it both range and independence from airfields. Its lightweight composite body keeps balance and fuel use efficient. Its wingspan is about 5.5 meters across on average. Maximum takeoff weight is roughly 260 kilograms total. The empty frame weighs about 120 kilograms usually. The rest covers fuel, sensors, and electronic surveillance gear. Flight endurance ranges between 10 to 12 continuous hours, roughly. Operational ceiling is over 12,000 feet in normal conditions. Cruise speed can reach about 200 kilometers per hour maximum. Control range is around 100 kilometers from the ground base. It can carry payloads up to 40 kilograms on standard mounts. That includes high-resolution day and thermal night cameras, too. In future upgrades, light smart munitions may also be attached. For now, it mainly focuses on long-range, real-time reconnaissance. The guidance system mixes GPS, inertial sensors, and autopilot logic. It's built to resist enemy jamming and keep flying under interference. Even if communications drop, HOMA can continue autonomously on plan. Its composite shell and aerodynamic shaping reduce radar visibility well. Anti-jam and counter-deception systems help it survive electronic attack. Together, these make it harder to detect and easier to protect itself. That combination increases its survivability in contested battle zones. HOMA fits into Iran's medium-range tactical reconnaissance drone class. It monitors troop movement, vehicles, and ships from a safe distance. Real-time data streaming lets commanders react faster and smarter, too. With its view, artillery and missiles can target with higher precision. Its first field appearances were during naval drills and coastal patrols. The Navy used it to extend horizon surveillance from smaller vessels. Border units also used prototypes for regional observation operations. So far, no confirmed combat deployment outside training has appeared. Exact production numbers remain secret for obvious military reasons. Reports suggest dozens are active across several operational divisions. HOMA was also part of a 200 drone delivery to the Army. That indicates mass production has already started on multiple lines. You can compare HOMA with Iran's Mohajer and Yasir drone families. The main difference is its VTOL design that removes runway needs. Mohajer carries heavier loads but requires takeoff space always. Homa offers faster setup, higher mobility, and equal endurance overall. Compared with the American Shadow, Homa is larger and flies longer. The Shadow lasts six hours, while Homa doubles that endurance easily. It can lift heavier gear and resist jamming better under pressure. That makes it a fully evolved, localized version of the shadow concept. Global analysts reacted quickly when Iran showed the HOMA publicly. 
Defense outlets called it proof of Iranian self-reliance and maturity. Western articles noted Iran's steady growth despite sanctions and limits. It was seen as a strong step in regional unmanned systems development. Its main roles include patrol, border watch, and tactical observation. Future variants could perform more advanced strike or support missions. That depends on national strategy and development of light armaments. Still, its intelligence-gathering role already boosts Iran's readiness. Field flexibility is one of HOMA's most important tactical strengths. It can deploy quickly from mountains, deserts, or narrow naval decks. This gives Iranian forces quick situational coverage and faster reaction. Commanders value that independence as a strategic battlefield advantage. During electronic warfare scenarios, HOMA stays functional under stress. Its frequency hopping systems and shielded antennas keep links alive. This ensures missions can continue even when jamming waves intensify. That resilience adds huge confidence to troops depending on its data. Right now, HOMA's core mission remains information gathering and support. Weapon integration may come later after technical validation and policy. If armed, it could combine surveillance with pinpoint light strike ability. Until then, it serves as the Army's eye in complex operational zones. The drone can even operate from small ships or offshore platforms. This helps the Navy gain beyond-the-horizon visual intelligence coverage. Smaller vessels using HOMA can monitor larger maritime regions continuously. That expansion of vision changes surveillance dynamics in coastal defense. Supporting systems include maintenance, refueling, and control networks. Operators must handle calibration, software updates, and data management. Keeping the drone reliable long-term needs trained staff and spare parts. So logistics and upkeep are as critical as the airframe itself. Strategically, HOMA increases situational awareness across multiple forces. Faster imagery and positional data shorten commander's decision time clearly. That means higher precision, lower risk, and improved operational results. In short, information advantage becomes Iran's new tactical backbone. The future of HOMA depends on scaling, software, and sensor evolution. If Iran mass-produces it, surveillance coverage will multiply rapidly. Enhanced optics and satellite links could triple its operational depth. Each improvement adds power to Iran's modern drone network expansion.